I realize it's uh, Christmas almost for all of us and um, this is supposed to be uh, a time when you show your uh, love or friendship or appreciation for people you like and even for people you don't know and um, unfortunately I'm not that fortunate that I can buy everybody a present uh, to show them uh, I appreciate them and uh, well that um, it's always good uh, to let them know that they are not forgotten so um, instead of buying everyone a, a present um, I thought maybe it would be as much fun and uh, as good a present as as giving you all uh, I mean separately a small present that I would give everybody who's watching this video a one present but for everyone and um, I'll admit freely that I also wanted to give myself a little bit of a present so I uh, spent um, quite a bit of money actually on this um, in the hope that um, it would please uh, all of you and of course it would please myself as well now um, I found this on the internet uh, on eBay to be more precise and although I didn't quite exactly jump onto the occasion um, I uh, kept a close eye on it and uh, I noticed nobody was really bidding on it or or well apparently it wasn't getting really that many hits so even though the price was well reasonably high um, it wasn't extravagantly high so I thought well I'd, I'd take a chance on it and, and bid on it and uh, what do you know I, I won it now I suppose by now you are all curious to see what's inside the box so I won't keep you much longer uh, in the dark so let's unbox it and I hope I really hope it survived the trip because um, there's a small story behind this box which is that um, well I, I ordered it uh, I mean I bought it I, I won the bid and and the guy who sold it to me uh, initially he had sent it uh, erroneously to his own address <laughs> so actually the, the the pack made a a you could say a useless round trip to his own place until he of course realized the the mistake and then in the end send it to my address so after way much more time than I had hoped it would take it finally arrived at my address so well let's open it up and 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 I really hope it survived the trip uh, I mean and the trip to my place and that useless round trip to his address which is well come to think of it a little bit funny but okay well here we go he promised me that he would pack it uh, sufficiently and um, I was a bit afraid of this that he would simply put it into a cardboard box and wrap it in in bubble wrap okay it's better than nothing but really it it's not ideal certainly not for what I uh, bid on but okay well 
here we go and oh yeah it is what I was hoping it would be so let me unpack it completely uh, he put bubble wrap all around it so that looks okay and at first glance it seems to have survived the trip so here we go uh, oh god aha okay oh, wait a minute uh, let me unpack this first If I show you this, I'm certain a few of you will already know what this in the box is. Okay, it's a, a foot, a, a stand. Okay, so there's nothing else left in the box. So, here you go. This is what comes with it. Okay. And now for the thing itself and it's incredibly heavy for its size so here we go I have to be a bit careful now uh, hang on I'm trying to figure out what is the top and what is the bottom okay I think I got it wrong. Uh, yeah, I think this is the top. Okay, okay. So let's unpack it. Um, okay, it's it's cleanly packed. That I have to admit. So let's have a look. It is a bit dirty, I can tell, but I think the dirt is not too much. Uh, yeah, hang on. Um, let me unwrap it. Uh, where is the end of this thing? Aha, here it is. Okay. okay, here we go. Yes, it is a television. As you might have guessed already it is an RCA 8 PT 7032 and uh, the I read in the uh, manual in the, the service manual that the 8 PT 7032 means this exact model but with the stand that goes with it so this let me show you if i can manage to mount it in its stand uh, which isn't that easy oh god because it's really 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 heavy for this for the size of it, it weighs a ton. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Okay. Well, this is it. An RCA Victor 8 PT7032. You could say tabletop set, although it was sold as a, 
a portable TV. And the 7032 more specifically says it is a black and gold uh, model. And uh, indeed, that's exactly what it is. Black and gold. Well, <laughs> I guess the, the gold, the, the shine of the gold, quote unquote, um, has gone a bit. Uh, I mean, it, it is old and dirty, but uh, I'm hoping to bring it back to life. Uh, together with all of you and uh, well have some fun restoring it yeah and uh, okay it is it is a bit dirty and a few spots of rust here and there not too many but still and um, it has those typical rabbit ear antennas they should be okay according to what I read in the description well they are a bit bent I have to say and they are also quite dirty there you go the rabbit ear antennas so yeah well uh, it's going to ask a bit of work now, I know uh, the TV doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, or at least uh, the guy who sold it to me had hooked it up to the AC and um, it showed only a, a horizontal bright line on the picture tube and that was it. So um, that would seem to indicate that there is a problem with the vertical deflection of this TV set and uh, maybe even uh, a bit more trouble than that uh, so uh, yeah we'll we'll have we'll certainly have our work cut out to bring it back to life um, now contrary to the RCA WR59C sweep generator I'm restoring currently um, this thing I will try to restore it and bring it back to its original look let's say okay so I, I really intend to do my best to make it look um, exactly or at least as close as possible to what it must have looked like when it was brand new and they took it out of its original factory box so um, yeah it might be interesting that's for sure uh, and look at this this is this is the uh, tuner button so yeah it's it's all quite dirty but eh, uh, that's part of the fun of course uh, trying to bring something back to life it misses at least one or two knobs in fact, I think it, it, it misses two knobs, that's for sure. Um, this knob moves even up and down. So this could be the on-off, I'm not certain. I need to have a look. Well, okay. Well, maybe this one is the on-off. Who can tell? Um, yeah, well... Uh, I've got my work cut out for me and I'm sure you will all um, enjoy watching uh, how I restore it and uh, hopefully how I bring it back to life. Uh, it will take quite a few episodes, I'm already certain of that. Um, 
keeping in mind that uh, if I do intend to bring it back to its well more or less original state um, a, yeah the series might even have a, a break or a few breaks while I try to gather all the parts that I need to restore it now it's a tube TV uh, I mean there's not a single transistor inside this TV contrary to the Sony portables I restored recently so um, this is a uh, vacuum tube technology and uh, well you know judging by the size of it uh, they must have had a hell of a job to make it this small and to make it work with with tubes only tubes and the screen I would say is a 7 inch screen which is quite a bit larger than the Sony screens which are only five and a half inches diagonally this is a seven inch diagonal black and white screen and um, well I hope the picture tube works so that's the next thing we'll be uh, investigating 